Your Ontario Honda Dealers Advertising Association wants to make the most effective advertising throughout the year to help you sell more Hondas than ever before. From now on, we'll be sending you video updates which will review the success of previous campaigns, profile the next promotion, and ask for your input on future programs we should be... Watch for the tape. It will come to you a few weeks before a new campaign starts. During its first year, your advertising association has created three major promotions and a minor contest cross. You'll be interested to know that we were outspent on a dollar per vehicle basis one of our competitors. For every $12 we spent per car on dealer advertising, Toyota spent $52, Nissan and Mazda $236. Yet, even though Toyota outspent us by over four times in advertising, we still took a commanding lead in sales, becoming the largest car manufacturer for the first time. And that trend continues today. From October 1989 to last February, we have beat them by 1,090 cars. So, let's now review the first... You'll see that your dealer association advertising has helped us all. September marked the start of our first major campaign, a clear-out of existing 1989 stock. It promoted free air conditioning or a pop-up sunroof and an AM-FM stereo offer. Advertising consisted of in-dealership posters, 600-line newspaper ads, and 15-second television commercials, each with a very different approach to give our advertising less level than our competitors, even though they were outspending us. The campaign proved to be a great success, building traffic and clearing out the backlog of 89s much earlier than was expected. We sold 2,100 in October 1989, a 17% increase from the same time in 88, while the entire import car category only grew less than 1%. In the late fall, we negotiated a cross-promotion with the Ontario Apple Marketing Commission. The cost of one Civic, which was used as the contest prize, to get the civic name and a photograph of really thousands of posters and shelf displays plus on for five million bags of apples. Some dealers also took advantage of this promotion by displaying a civic right inside a major food store. It has been estimated that the media exposure of this promotion was worth a hundred and ninety four almost fifteen times the cost of the car. In late December, we launched a short duration no campaign. Many urban dealers reported excellent during the week between Christmas and New Year's, a traditionally slow period. Again, we supported you with newspaper and two 15 second TV spots. During the early winter, dealers took advantage of direct mail to re motivate already qualified customers and get them back into their dealership. A sweat some dealers also gave away the sweatshirts as traffic building incentives on the showroom floor. In January, Honda dealers beat Toyota by 18%, Nissan by 144%, and Mazda by 193%. Now, we've just completed the cellular phone promotion designed to build dealer traffic from March on. Dealer cost per phone was finalized at $375, including installation. It was an inexpensive, traffic-building incentive, especially when other Japanese manufacturers were giving away thousands in options, rebates, and financing packages. In March, we still experienced supply shortages on four-door Accords and were still able to sell 2,657 Hondas, up 11% from a year earlier. We outperformed all our Japanese competitors, being the only one showing double-digit growth. In fact, we've been selling so many four-door Accords, the factory has had a hard time demand. Many dealers feel this is the only reason we haven't had even more spectacular growth. The campaign, as you know, consisted of 15-second television commercials, with impactful newspaper ads to support your own dealership advertising. As well, 
every dealer received free speech posters for use in their dealership. As indicated by sales figures, the phone campaign built dealer traffic and helped make March 1990 our best one ever. However, as is the case with any promotion, success can only be guaranteed when everyone gets behind it. It means motivating your salespeople so they're committed right from the beginning. Only then is every dealership going to have the success we're striving for. This brings us to just about the only car we've all got a good supply of right now, the Civic CX. Well, now it's time we created a shortage of them too. The Honda Civic CX lease program offers a Civic CX for only $199 a month based on a 48-month lease. The Quebec dealers ran a similar program in March. The number of leases was nothing short of incredible. An increase of 70% from the previous month and a 48% increase from the same time last year. People just didn't think they could lease a Civic for only $199. And it's the same in Ontario. We asked them how much they thought it would cost to lease a Honda Civic CX. 350. 5,000 bucks. 350 a month? 300? What do you think? I'll go with that. Three, 300, 275 maybe? Let's say $2,000. Uh, 600 dollars for the month? Between three and 400 dollars? Well, we know better. All we have to do is tell them about the 199 dollars a month lease and people listen up. I'd be interested. I'd say that's pretty good and I'd say where? where? <laughs> <laughs> that's quite inexpensive. Does it have wheels? <laughs> okay, so I was exaggerating. <laughs> it all means thousands of people are able to afford a new Civic they otherwise couldn't. This program is going to build excitement for the CX, and if you further support it with your dealership advertising, it's sure to be a big traffic builder. We'll be using posters to support you on the showroom floor. Newspaper ads will be placed in every market, and television, the most highly impactful and intrusive media, will quickly build an awareness of this promotion in every part of the province. The 15 seconds already existing film of the CX breaks through the clutter and drives our $199 a month lease program home. This campaign is out to break sales records, but remember, your dealer association's advertising is designed to complement your own local newspaper ads, not replace them. To get your fair share of these civic leases, Support the program with everything you've got. Full details on this lease package will be sent to you soon. Be ready for it. The Dealer Association will be working hard to inform you of any upcoming programs and advertising campaign results. One program in discussion right now is how to support Honda as the official car of the Toronto Blue Jays. This is a great vehicle for some cross-promotion and a chance to really get some mileage out of our advertising dollar, especially for the many dealerships close to Toronto. We're not making a big deal of money on this promotional effort. It'll be supported with posters and other ideas you can utilize to build traffic in your market. There will be more information on this program sent to you soon. We're also looking for any great ideas you have for the Fall 1990 Clearout Campaign at our advertising agency, Rubel & Schwab in Toronto at 416-925-5716. We hope this new video format will help us keep you informed of the success we've had and any up-and-coming promotions. You've just seen a review of the year's efforts from your association and a rundown of our upcoming Civic CX lease promotion, as well as being asked for your ideas concerning the Blue Jays and the 1990 clearout. Many hours have been put into creating innovative promotional programs that not only help sell cars the next day, but also builds a leadership image for Honda dealers that translates into traffic and sales over the entire year. Dealer association advertising can be a vital part of your marketing success. The first year was a very good start. With all of our support, the best is yet to come.